Good evening viewers, wherever uh, you might be watching around the world. We've got uh, the uh, seniors final here at the Seniors World Championships. The 2019 Supreme World 8 Ball Pool Championships. And in the final we have Videsh Zabawa of India versus James Purely of Scotland. Uh, it's a best of 15 frames, so it will be a race to 8 frames. Of course, these uh, seniors events commenced many years ago. It's been a very popular event. And of course, James Peely of Scotland is breaking. Broken on the top ball. It looks like uh, a red ball has been potted. And he's got uh, <clears throat> a red ball that will, what appear, will go into this bottom right hand pocket. He's got three balls at the top left hand of screen and uh, a cannon which. Uh, will probably promote a red into that top left pocket if he chooses to go that way. But I guess at this stage he's got to nominate what denomination he prefers. Ward. So he's chosen to play uh, a safety shot. So he's obviously must have chosen red balls. Uh, so Videsh will be on uh, the yellows. So Videsh is uh, from India. And of course James from Scotland. So Videsh is going to be on yellows. We try and play this yellow into the cushion off the red and towards the pocket. Not quite the result that he wanted, but um, he was in a very awkward position. So, James Peely of Scotland, this is the final. This is to determine who is the world champion for 2019. These World April Pool Championships. It's a nice pot, and he's come around for this red into the middle pocket. Somehow those uh, the reds have been disturbed up at that uh, top left pocket, which means that the plant is not on anymore. But uh, the red closest the middle, I suspect, would be potable. Good shot. He actually even nearly got a pot out of that. But uh, he's played it into that cluster of three balls and uh, hence uh, virtually promoted every ball now. Every ball will be potable. <coughs> and it's a very awkward bridge for uh, Videsh. He's got to try not to foul here, make sure he doesn't touch that, that red. 
like he might be playing into those two balls that are together. Might get a pot here. That's a lovely shot, particularly the way he was uh, bridging. And he's got a cannon here as well where he can play that uh, yellow onto yellow, you know, which is uh, the yellow which is touching the cush. Add a cannon into that and run that yellow down to the bottom right hand pocket. Just taking his time. Of course, I've got to have a shot within 60 seconds. He's taking this yellow into the middle. Yellow nearest the red. He's played that firm, I'm not sure why he needed to play that so firm. Trying to hold his white, but... Um, so now James has got the uh, opportunity to... clear these reds. It's certainly all out in the open and potable. So you should be able to put this red into the top left. Come round, take the red into the uh, top right. He's nicely, nicely stunned across. And you've got to do a similar shot across to this red next to the yellow, only it's got to travel a little bit further towards this bottom end of the table. It's nicely done, that's another way to do it. That's perfect, in fact. So he's got his white in a good place to pot this red into the bottom right hand corner and screw back to be able to run the black down into the bottom left. That's a lovely shot by James. So James really takes a, a 1 0 lead in this match against Videsh Zabawal, Zabawal of India. James, of course, from Scotland, takes a 1 0 lead in this best of 15 final of the uh, seniors at these 2019 Supreme World 8 Ball Pool Championships. Of course overseen by the World 8 Ball Pool Federation coming to you from Blackpool in England. A big cheerio to anybody watching in India, Scotland or anywhere else in the world for that matter. Possibly even Australia, there might be people getting up now. It's uh, 5.19. Any keen pool players that uh, may be getting up for, for work. You can watch a little bit of pool before you head off to work. So now it's Videsh to break. Nice aerial shot provided by our uh, technical team in the live stream. So Videsh is firing, it appears to be aiming for the head ball. Unfortunately, nothing potted. All 15 balls and the cue ball. No, the cue ball disappeared. So James gets uh, another opportunity. Uh, I would probably take yellows the way they're uh, they're lying. So he's going to take yellow onto that yellow which is sitting over the left hand middle pocket. Plays that perfectly, and uh, you can also get rid of that second yellow which is over that middle pocket, and just stun. He's got 
got yellow into the bottom left. Looking to see where he needs to finish to be able to uh, put that yellow next to the red. Plays that nice and slow. Hasn't quite come around enough as much as he would have liked. He's got that yellow into the um, right middle pocket. This is James Feely of Scotland. <coughs> Playing Vidish Zabawal. that yellow into the middle but then I guess his next ball might be awkward he's done that nicely he can go through through the gateway of the yellow and black and take that yellow bottom left hand pocket and maybe screw into the um, no he's not going to screw he's just going to play with top position on that yellow into that middle pocket that's what he was looking at before to work out how he could get position on that so you can take this and then it'll have the yellow that'll be able to run down to the bottom right hand pocket he's played that really nicely James is really finding some form here early in this match and uh, Videsh really hasn't had the opportunity to get going short but still good enough he can put that black in the bottom right hand pocket there it's a lovely clearance by James Peely of, of Scotland to take a 2-0 lead in this match against Videsh Zabawal of uh, India the referee Matt Ward Collects the reds. So these championships coming to you from Blackpool here in England. Wherever you might be watching, big cheerio, this is Joe Fanto. My pleasure to um, give you a little bit of commentary. information about these two players and how they made the uh... so James again at the table he seems to be permanently at the table at the moment we haven't seen Videsh very much and of course another ball's gone in off the break this time it's a yellow long pot by uh, James so he's obviously chosen reds it's 
So it looks like Vidish made the final by defeating uh, David Robin of Wales 7-2. And uh, James Peel of Scotland defeated uh, one of his own teammates in uh, Matt Brennan of Scotland 7-5. That was the seventh semi-final results. In the quarters, Vidash uh, defeated uh, Steve Singh, uh, also of India, and uh, James defeated Stu Jones of England, 7-5 in the quarters. So these World Championships are uh, coming to a close again for another year. This is the 27th year. It's been another uh, great tournament with uh, maximum uh, with record numbers. Looks like Dave Beaumont's taken a... I know there's no lead. It's one all in the, in the wheelchair event between Dave Beaumont and uh, Ashlam of India. So let's see what uh, Vidash can do here. He's on the yellow balls. He's looking to see if he can pot this yellow, which is uh, close to that red. Looks like he's opting for a defensive shot. He's kicked that red off, so he's cleared the, the yellow for himself. But in doing so, he's covered his uh, yellow that was would have been potable in that top right-hand pocket. So James doesn't like the idea of that red being there, so he's promoted and sent his wife up, his, uh, his wife, his white, up the table. <laughs> That's a commentator's blooper. So he's played a defensive shot, tucking his white ball behind that cluster of balls. So he's probably looking to see, it looks like there's a, there's a train on there where if he plays this yellow into the red, the red hits yellow closest that middle right pocket and possibly goes in. I think he's gonna take it on. Everything seems to be aligned. Definitely not. So now it's James Peely of Scotland. These seniors have been a really popular event. Over the years, I recall in Australia it started many years ago when we started playing test match series against Australia's over, over 50s and over 40s and then eventually we got uh, over 50s here at the, the World Championships and uh, That's James Feely of Scotland. Pronounce the PHF. And uh, Videsh, I think I'll uh, just pronounce him as Videsh. I read it as uh, Zabawal of India. James at the table at the moment on, the, on Reds. And they're all out there. James has the opportunity here to take a 3 0 lead. Looks 
a nice, nice pot to the uh, bottom right hand pocket. Unfortunately, he's missed that. He's jawed that, so he's. Uh, it's going to be an opportunity here for Dish, for Vidish, see what he can do. Vidish Zabawel on yellow balls. We'll take this yellow into the top right and then um, she's wanted to go around that way so that you can uh, take this yellow into the top right as well and come around for these three balls that are close to the middle of the table. Quite impressive the way he managed to get around that ball. That's a bit close. He might be able to pot this yellow past the red into the middle. But he's gotten a bit close to those two balls, and I don't think uh, I don't think it pots into this bottom right. Taking his time, he's having a good look at it. Trying to work out. Might be able to tell from uh, from an aerial shot whether that uh, yellow passes the red. No, it doesn't. He's going to try and double this. That's a beautiful shot. Made that perfectly. Perfect view from the aerial shot, thanks to our uh, technical team. Of course, this is WEPF streaming. It's our pleasure to bring this uh, coverage to you wherever you're watching around the world. I'm sure, I'm sure there's lots of friends and rallies that are watching Videsh. And of course, James in Scotland. That's a beautiful pot. He uh, obviously spotted that and uh, played it to perfection. The thing is now this uh, yellow, it's covered from going in the middle maybe passes the red he uh, moves to go down the top I'd say it's got to just miss that red which is uh, close to the middle pocket and may still pot in that top right hand pocket he's gone off screens for the time being That's the shot he's probably going for. Just slightly awkward bridge there on the side of the table. He tried to go across the table. Didn't quite come off. And now James Philly. He might even be looking to come off the cushion to put. Uh, that red ball closest to the middle pocket because if he uh, even if he misses the pot he's going to leave snooker on that's exactly what he's looking at and uh, that's a nice tight defensive shot he 
sneak it to uh, Vin Vidish. So, of course, these are the World Championships coming to you courtesy of the World 8 Ball Pool Federation live stream. Thanks to Yvonne Armitage. And uh, lots of uh, great work by Stan Grant. Stan Grant's the table engineer and uh, Mr. Fixit at these championships. So Videsh, in fact the English Pool Association have got a whole team of people and uh, Videsh uh, draws first blood, he manages to get his first frame. So he now trails 1-2 against James Feely of Scotland. So it's Vidish Zabawa. One and uh, James Philly two. In this seniors over 50s uh, world championship final. Best of 15 frames, so it's a race to eight. As Matt Ward sets up the balls for the fourth frame of this match. Supreme are the uh, manufacturers of these tables that we've been using at these World Championships for many years. They're a wonderful sponsor. Along with uh, Strawn or Strachan, as I believe they're referred to here in uh, England. Strachan is the manufacturer of the cloth that you see on these tables and of course the Aramith balls. The providers of the Aramith balls are also a sponsor, Aramith. So he likes to cue straight up the middle. You don't see that very often. But certainly got a result then. Yellow balls were potted. And uh, the score from the uh, wheelchair final is uh, Dave Belmont 2, Ashlam Abel Baker uh, 1. So Vidash takes his spread to the middle. And he's still got all his, uh, got those three balls down the top of the table near Bork. They all go in those top two pockets. And he's got the three balls at the bottom of the screen, which are all potable. And black is potable as well, but uh, it's easier said than done, but we'll see how he can negotiate with the, negotiate his way. From the bork end. It's a nice pot. A bit awkward to leave himself uh, bridging over that yellow. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. He's just got to just nudge that red into the pocket and then he'll have an angle, an angle on that red into the top. Top left hand pocket. Maybe he left himself a little bit straight but he should be able to screw back trying to work out which ball he wants to get on all three are potable at the uh, bottom end of the screen Come around. 
can't quite see. I, I suspect that he can pot that uh, red near the black into the bottom right hand pocket as well. Or he might take the red into the middle pocket first and just stun. But you would think that uh, Videsh should be able to square this uh, match at 2 all. Unless something goes drastically wrong. is into the bottom right hand pocket of course this red does go into the middle and then the black will go into the bottom right hand pocket Videsh Zabawa of India playing James Feely of Scotland left himself nicely on that black into the middle pocket middle right hand pocket so Vidish Zabawal wins the fourth frame to draw level with James Feely of Scotland so this Seniors World Championship final is uh, delicately poised at two frames all here at the uh, 2019 World April Pool Championships. Matt Ward is uh, setting these balls up. Official referee for this match. His World Championship started way back in 1992 when Australia, New Zealand, and England got together and said we need to form a world body for eight ball pool. And of course, these championships have been greatly supported by uh, countries travelling from, from afar. As far as Africa, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand over various years, we would like to have New Zealand back. So it doesn't look like anything has been potted, so uh, Videsh is uh, quick to the table. He seems to have a ball into the middle pocket. <coughs> an open table so he can just uh, play that yellow ball straight into the middle without nomination. So Videsh Zabawal. We're going to try and run that, that yellow which is up against the right cushion into that bottom right hand pocket which he plays nicely. That gives him this yellow closest to the left, bottom left hand pocket. He should be able to hold his white to play that uh, yellow nearest the red in the middle near the cushion here onto that cushion ball into the bottom right hand pocket. He's played that. It's interesting how he's played that. Wanted to get really close to that yellow. He's looking to see if that yellow is touching. <coughs> I 
step, expect he'll play it uh, firm enough so that that yellow runs to the pocket and possibly pots. No. So he's played, I thought he was going to play cannon, but uh, and that's why he asked about the touching, whether that ball was touching a cushion, but instead he's just played that directly to the pocket. It's a good, good shot because it uh, takes control of this bottom right hand pocket. And his opponent will have his work cut out to uh, deal with those two balls that are nearest the pocket. So James Feely of Scotland. So James Feely has left him reasonably safe. I think it's a total snooker. It's, you can probably hit one of those two yellows, which is closest to black. One. So that's an aerial view. No, you can't. Uh, so he's just played his opponent's ball to the cushion. That's interesting. So these um, World Championships started way back on Wednesday of last week with uh, all the singles matches being played. And we've come to the weekend and played a Masters singles event. All the teams arrived for the Sunday. Uh, wonderful opening ceremony at uh, 2 o'clock on the Sunday. And uh, then matches started in the teams event. And everything is cul culminating... Uh, today and of course big finals day tomorrow so you can keep watching action after this match there's the ladies team final scheduled to commence at 10 o'clock and this is James Feely at the table lovely shot potted that ball into the bottom left and uh, spread his reds now gives himself an opportunity to pot out in this frame which is the fifth frame in this best of 15 final it's a race to eight at the moment all locked up at two all James Feely, he can run that. Uh, <clears throat> he can run that red that he's looking at to the top left-hand pocket. He'll probably run through so that no, he's just made sure that he gets the pot. I want to try and pot this red to the bottom left-hand pocket and screw back. He's shaping up that way to cover that red that's on the, that cushion. Okay, he got the position, but unfortunately didn't uh, pot the ball. So it gives Vedesh an opportunity to um, take control. Just to the left there, you can see uh, referee Matt Ward. Some steady pull here. And he's undercut that, he's under hit that. And hasn't quite covered the pocket either. So this is let James in here. Should 
be able to cut it past the yellow. That's a lovely shot. Perfectly played. Now he can play this red to the bottom right hand pocket. But it's going to be the position on that red which is on the top. Of course you know, he's got to play it firm and send his white back. Which he's done beautifully. That's a perfect shot. That's a lovely shot by uh, James Feely. James Feely of Scotland playing Videsh Zabawal of India. So he's tried to do a little bit of work with the white to get good position on black. He only progressed about a few inches. And that's a lovely pop by James Feely of Scotland. So he takes a 3-2 lead in this match against Videsh Zabawal of India. Referee Matt Ward. Quick on the scene to uh, re-rack the balls to keep this match moving. Just a score check. Crossed to the over other match, which is the wheelchair match. Dave Beaumont leaves three, leads 3-1 three against uh, Ashlan Abu Baker of India. So these championships Preparation starts well before the event. So now it's Vidish Sabawal. Just about middle of the table. Sets it back from Bork. And he just crashes into that front ball. Good reaction from all the balls, but uh, no yellow spotted, no red spotted, so nothing down at this stage. So it leaves an open table for his opponent in James Feely. at an open table. So Videsh is back at the table after he broke and didn't pot. So he'd be uh, thinking he's fortunate to be back on the table with an open table. And he's got quite a few options. yellow into the left middle pocket. Run uh, that nearest yellow into the top left hand pocket off the cushion and uh, be there on that next ball as well. a nice shot. So yellow, that nearest yellow into that same pocket. You only got a couple of yellows on the cushions. But he's going to have some work to do. One nearest that right hand middle pocket. But he's got nice and close to that and you may be able to put that yellow into the middle of that red.
that's nicely played. So Fetish is having his share of the action now. Should be able to put this uh, yellow into the middle. Slide across for these two balls that are on the bottom cushion. So that's Fidesz Zabawal. It's uh, a nice pop, but he's caught the black. She's kind of uh, mucked up his direct shot on the yellow nearest the black. So he may have to go for this yellow that's on the cushion, bottom cushion. Better run that down into the bottom right hand pocket. His white will go out and uh, then be able to put the yellow into the bottom left pocket. Uh, didn't, didn't quite get that pot. So now he's let. Uh, James Feely in. <laughs> Sounds like there's been another um, frame one in the uh, wheelchair event. David Beaumont stretched the lead out to four. Lead out to four one. Against Aslam Abu Baker. Aslam is also of India. So now it's James Philly has opportunity in this frame. Nicely run down. We'll try and clear all these reds now. that he wants two shots so it's laid quite a uh, quite a snooker so Videsh will he negotiate to get out of the snooker Plenty of cushion to play on the left, to play with on the left if he wants to play into that um, left cushion, say with the uh, left hand side he should be able to get close to these, to this ball over the po bottom pocket. Instead he's going for a deliberate foul where he's going to play, oh no this is, these are his reds so it's not a deliberate foul. Sorry, it's a deliberate foul. Of course, Vidish is on yellows. Getting confused now. It's getting late at night. I've done some long hours commentating. I apologise. James Feely here. Got opportunity with two shots now on the reds. This is why um, Vidish was trying to push a couple of balls safe. Didn't fancy his chances of getting out of the snooker. So casually and uh, without effort, just naturally knew where to hit the, that red. So I'll probably try and double this red back into the bottom left hand pocket. Left 
himself a nice red there, not quite straight, but very potable. Pots this red. They played that beautifully off that cushion and bounced back for the black. That's a lovely shot. So James Feely takes a 4-2 lead in this uh, final against Vidish Sabawal of India. This over 50s final. I might just take a uh, short break and be back very soon. Referees Matt Ward, still racking the balls. Okay, this coverage is coming to you from Blackpool in England. From the Imperial Hotel. So just, not sure why he's rubbing the cloth. He was doing that against the nap. Maybe to lift the cloth and cloth and uh, try and make the balls stick together. Try to make sure that all the balls are um, touching so that, get max so that we get maximum reaction when they're broken. So this is a best of 15 frames, the winner needs to uh, win 8 frames, James is halfway there, James Feely of Scotland and uh, Videsh Sabawal of India, playing off in this uh, Seniors World Championships final. So these players have taken a break for the time being. Of course his World Championship started back on Wednesday of last week with the Singles uh, Championships. We've had uh, already had some semi-finals today. Finals tomorrow will be uh, commencing from 9 o'clock in the team, team event. It'll be ladies singles and uh, men's singles. It's a big break. Nothing down though it would appear. So it's a Vidish at the table. He has an open table. Breaks out that red, that comes out nicely. 
I see that'll pop into his bottom right hand pocket now, that red. He's trying to work out where he's going to send the white. Say if he pots this red. <clears throat> he can remain on that red in that bottom bottom left. If he doesn't. It's a nice shot, perfect. in the bottom left hand pocket and then try and make his way into the middle of the table for those last three reds. that black so it's given those balls a little bit more breathing space a little bit more, more room to be, uh, to be potted so he's probably got that red that he's going to cut into the middle or send or send to the top right hand pocket promotes the uh, red that he runs into into a potable position probably in the bottom right hand pocket although that red you've got the red looks like it comes into this bottom right hand pocket already uh, the first option was the one didn't disturb the other red at all. So if that had potted, it would have been good. So now James Philly has got seven yellows here to pot. Negotiate how he's going to get out of the snooker or if he's going to get out of it at all. That's a lovely shot. And he actually potted. So now James. James Feely, what can he do with all these yellows? Besides get a broom. <laughs> so 
So you can uh, start by putting yellow into the bottom right hand corner. And yellow into the bottom left hand corner. run the yellow down to the bottom right so now you can take that middle red on the right there into the middle pocket it looks like it's what he's going for it's a nice pot. Now you can just stun on this yellow. Put it into his bottom right hand pocket. Now instead he's uh, forward planning, screwed back into that yellow and pull. And now it's very potable either in the middle or top top right hand pocket. leaves himself on a nice lie on the black. So James Feely is taking a quite a good lead here. He's going to 5-3 in this best of 15 frame match against Videsh Zabawal. James Feely leads 5-3. event is uh, Dave Beaumont 4, Aslan Abu, Abu Baker 3, scores 4-3. Four, the score here should be 5-3 to James, James Feely. He's having trouble racking the balls. So these championships are run by the English Pool Association. They've obviously got a they've got a um, committee led by Alan Benton, the tournament director, George Harwood, assistant tournament director, and then a, a big team of assistants to run these championships. And of course, it's all under the auspices of the World Eight Ball Pool Federation. And. Uh, Lots of important members who come along and support the event with their participation. It's a big break, but unfortunately he's lost the white again. And the score... Should be five, two. So James is a, it's a nice shot. And all those reds are nicely spread. Could take a commanding lead here of uh, six two the way uh, those reds are shaping up. He's got that red into the middle, middle pocket. Where's he going to go? Right into the top right hand pocket. So now that 
same another red in to that top right hand pocket. Of course eventually he's got to get back down for these reds, these three reds in the lower part of the table. Bottom of screen. Let's come around for red. I expect we'll take the red and top left. with that uh, white sitting on that red it's going to cause an awkward bridge it's a lovely controlled shot considering that awkward bridge and now he can play that red to the bottom left hand pocket and the score now is correct 5-2 to James Run through so that you've got so that you can play the red into the bottom as well. So now this red into the bottom right, and probably that's a lovely shot. And James Philly takes a 6-2 lead <coughs> against Videsh Zabawao of India. James Philly, of course, from Scotland. And uh, just take a short break as uh, the referee racks the balls. So back in the studio, Joe Fanto here coming to you, trying to uh, give you a little bit of commentary here in this match. It's a nice big break. Let's see if anything went down. No reds and no yellows. And the white is also still still on the table. So uh, James feel he's got a fairly commanding lead here. She, she's only got two frames to go to to win this match and be crowned world champion of seniors for 2019. Videsh Zabawal, see if he's got anything uh, left that he can offer try and uh, make a comeback in this match. It's a nice pot with an awkward bridge. You can take a <coughs> red in the middle of the table to the middle. Okay, he's got one very awkward ball and that's the one in the pack here with the black and yellow. Finding it awkward to um, 
get to the cue ball there. That was an attempt to um, try and break those those balls out so that the red would come out. Unfortunately, it didn't quite happen. <coughs> so now he's got another awkward bridge. He's, he's bridging over that yellow. Cause that, but he's got a good result because uh, he's uh, managed to snooker his opponent behind that red. For that red right down the table. It was a good effort, but um, unfortunately. So this is James Feely at the table at the moment from Scotland. going to give a deliberate foul. No, he's uh, actually played out played out of the snooker and unfortunate not to hit one of those two balls that he that he went past. So Videsh has got two shots here. Which of course he needs. Videsh Sabawal of India. He's on the red balls. It's a beautiful pot. Now, where's his white? There's that red. <coughs> Looks like we have a winner in the wheelchair event. And uh, Aslam Abu Baker, a big comeback to win against Dave Beaumont of England. Great, great result. Congratulations to both players. Great effort for making that final. And uh, won by the finest of margins by Aslam. Of course, here we're going to need a comeback from Videsh. That's a nice snooker, led on by Videsh. So James is going to have to try and negotiate out of this snooker and uh, see if he can leave a safety somehow. Fairly having a good look. He's only got 60 seconds to have his shot here. Gets 30 second warning. And then 30 seconds from the warning. As you can see the Supreme sign. Supreme World Apple Book Championships. The uh, table manufacturers of these uh, wonderful tables that we use. Here's a been a great sponsor of the World Apple Pool Federation, English Pool Association and the Europeans. So he's still got one shot to play. He feathered his way out of that sneaker. He's got this awkward red here, close to the uh, black. 
close to the yellows and black and he's certainly moved it so that's potable now it can come down this rail but in the meantime he's snookered himself well, they might fit through those uh, two balls and hit his ball but that's So where's he going to go with his right now? He's surrounded by yellows. I think he can hit just a small portion of that red. It doesn't appear to be a foul snooker. Or a total snooker. So he's got that red out. All three reds out in the open now. But James Fairley... This match six frames to two. So that's a good pot. James is on yellows here. Lots of them to go for. Take that yellow closest to the white, up to the top right hand corner pocket. And probably he's got an angle to uh, break into the pack. So he's going to take on double there, try and get it really close to that pocket or in. So what right up against the cush? I think that's James's cue there. Seems to be a bit of a pause in the match. It's just uh, chalking up. So this is British. Just going to swerve around to try and. Uh, So he's got to them okay. Now he's left uh, <coughs> James with the opportunity to continue on these yellows. Safety there. James Philly six, Badash two, race to eight. So James only needs two, two more frames to win this world title. So he's going to try and uh, screw out of this. Uh, screw on that ball to bend around. Attempted the curve shot. So of course this gives two shots to uh, James Feely and he should be able to extend his lead here I believe. All those yellows are potable.
you know, I think that's the first double I've seen him miss. I believe he's got one more shot. <coughs> that was because Videsh fouled on that uh, red. And he's broken black out. It's a lovely shot. further. So now I can play the, I probably have to try and play this yellow near the middle. Now he's taking the yellow to the bottom left hand pocket. Didn't play that very well. He's not happy with himself. So Vidish has got an opportunity here. All these opportunities are out in the open. So, Videsh, Sabawal. take this red and kind of screw back. I'll probably play with um, we'll stun across to, to this red to put it in this bottom left hand pocket. It's a good shot. here. Got to run this red past the yellow into this bottom left hand pocket and have a shot on black. He's played beautifully. Couldn't wish for better. Now he's got a clean road for that black to pot into the bottom left hand pocket. So Vidash Sabuwao wins that frame and trails three frames to six against James Feely of Scotland but at least uh, he's still in it and fighting uh, as they uh, take a short break These are the Supreme World 8 Ball Pool Championships coming to you from uh, the Imperial Hotel here in Blackpool, England. The championship started back on Wednesday and uh, about to culminate with finals day tomorrow. Of course this is the finals day of uh, some of the matches. We're actually witnessing the uh, Senior World Championships final. So Videsh still in this match, about to break for the 10th uh, frame. Beautiful break. Just got to watch for any balls potted. 
nothing down. So his opponent James Feely will uh, come to the table. So he's got that red that he can run to the top left hand pocket. Uh, red that he can nearest this bottom cushion that he can uh, cut across to the uh, right hand pocket as well. I guess he would like, and of course the yellow. So the last pot, and he's come out slowly so they can take this uh, yellow into this bottom right hand pocket. shot and he's stunned there so that he can <clears throat> put that yellow into the middle pocket, middle right hand pocket and that's going to be short and that's going to be a foul because nothing has hit a cushion. So he's let uh, Vidash in here. So Vidish can take that red to the top right hand pocket and uh, then he's got so he's um, gone that way he can take that red in the middle of the table into the middle right pocket Should be able to uh, find a way. It's got that awkward red which is sitting on the jaw on the um, cushion on the left of the table. <clears throat> It's a lovely shot by Vidish. It's uh, certainly giving him, giving him a big opportunity to get this frame. He's got this, uh, the red nearest to the uh, cushion. He could. Cut that into the bottom left hand pocket. And so he's going to take the easier one at the moment. And he's come through, but he's finished up in no man's land there. Doesn't have a. He's got the finest of cuts on that ball to put it in the bottom left hand pocket. Don't know that would even go for it. Put it into the middle. No, he's just played safety. Tried to limit his opponent's shots, even though yellows are all out in the open. So, waiting 
for the incoming player. That's finish. So part of that yellow. It's got position on a few yellows there. You can either take the yellow over the middle right pocket, which would then set him up for um, all those yellow yellows near the middle of the table. Unfortunately, he uh, hasn't got much of a shot on this last red. Just have to try and... Uh, okay, so he can obviously actually see it from wherever he is. the red I think so James Feely nice and this should be uh, elementary for James and he'll only be one frame away from winning this world title As he races around the table, and James Feely of Scotland takes a 7-2, 7-3 lead in this match against Vidash Zabawal. It is the Seniors World Championship final coming to you from the Imperial Hotel here in Blackpool, England. Referee George, sorry Matt Ward, to uh, rack the balls again in what will be the tenth frame. James seven, Videsh three. So as you can see the World April Pool Federation logo, they oversee this event during this uh, last week and a half, the annual the uh, World Apple Pool Federation have had their annual general meeting. It was the year where uh, all the countries discussed rules. And of course, there's been a vote, of no, a vote of confidence in the rules because there's been no changes uh, that have uh, made it to uh, be voted in favour. So no changes to the rules. Referee is taking some time to make sure the balls are all all touching. So the score is seven three in this match. Senior World Championships final between Vedash Sabawil and James Feely of Scotland. Vedash is from India. He trails 3-7. Will James be able to tidy up <coughs> and become world champion in this next frame? Or will we see a fight back from Vedash? So 
the referee's taking some time on this occasion to try and spot these balls. It appears that he's taking an eternity here. Must be having trouble looking at. Keeps rubbing the cloth, I'm not sure what that does. This is Matt Ward having trouble with uh, racking these balls. Now he seems to be happy. And it's James Feely to break. He'd love to uh, break and go game here, I'm sure. Big break, but uh, yeah, there's yellow putt. No, I didn't see that yellow that's uh, sitting there behind the black and the red. So nothing potted. So uh, everyone's waking up in Australia and um, I can tell them that uh, they should stay around because uh, there's a uh, Australian women's team final coming up. I believe they're playing South Africa in the final. And I'm joined here by uh, Mark Shepherd. Good evening, Joe. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Mark. Just been commentating on the wheelchair final, which was a High quality affair that Aslam Abu Baker eventually prevailed in the deciding frame. And uh, I saw there was a big comeback in that match. Yes, it was 4 1 down. This one, it looks like James Feely's been ahead most of the way. but yeah, He has. Uh, though, uh, since 2 all, it's been um, predominantly James Feely. Fadesh uh, shows, shows some signs of brilliance, but uh, not quite enough to close out the frames. So, last chance to lean for him. He's got to win all the remaining frames. Yes. Turning to late night for these players. I think, I think you were mentioning as I was coming in, the, the latest <laughs> team final to follow, so it'd be a, a very late night for them. And possibly a very late night for us. Yes, I think that. <laughs> <laughs> I think unfortunately that goes without saying. Fluked it, fluked double and get the ball out. But actually, now the, the balls are in a reasonably straightforward position for James. Although they're in a kind of odd position, those four in a line up there. Yeah, they, I've set up the balls in those positions a few times on a practice table and uh, find it's not too hard to, to muck up. <laughs> no, it's surprisingly <laughs> easy to muck up. Then James is playing the World Championship final, so he's perhaps got less excuse. And, uh, think that this looks like it's just one at a time. All lined up. Pot and stun, pot and stun, pot and stun. Yeah, I don't know if the middle one of the three goes past the no, other I one. Don't think so it's got to take it in the other order. That's going to make go it the other hard. side. Yeah. It goes the other side of it. You can put it back in the middle. That's it. Ooh, that, that, that was nearly yeah, very bad. Got a good kiss there. That looked like it was drifting around and then it just seemed to catch yeah. it at the last minute. This break is taking nice shape. James Feely getting closer to a world title. Nice put on the yellow. Left himself a relatively straight black. 
this bottom right hand pocket. And James Feely of Scotland is the world champion in this uh, senior event in the 2019 Supreme World Eight Ball Pool Championships. He's defeated Videsh Zabawal of India, nine frames to three. Thank you all for joining us in that final. I invite you all to wait uh, and stay up and uh, enjoy the up and coming women's team final between Australia and South Africa. That's it from me for now, but uh, I'll be back soon.